Hello everybody, welcome. Now, I'm really, well, before we start, look at that. Bash me tough, lost me, bash me gum and lost me tough. I've been to the dentist, uh, got one being made, ready next Thursday. I look a old bloody mess. Um, and then I was going to cut my hair, just made to shave, and my hair shave was packed in. It's good job I never went like that, otherwise it would have all been bald on one side. Oh, so I've got to buy a new pair of them tomorrow. But never mind anyway. So, but I really fancied a pizza today. Really did. I thought, oh, I haven't pizza for weeks, I'm having a pizza. I thought, well, I've made one on my channel before. So I thought, um, let's do, because, because, uh, Calzone, that's what it's called, isn't it? A calzone. I've never done a calzone before. It's basically like a pizza, isn't it? Wrapped in the pizza dough. Um, I was going to make my own. And I was going to do one compared to... Because I've got uh, this pizza dough up Aldi, up Tesco. But I didn't realise that it's... You've got to leave it to defrost for 24 hours. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to do a basic one. So let me show you what I've got. Right, I've got myself a pizza base. Uh... As I say, I was going to make my own and do it all compare, but I didn't realise the dough that it was going to be 24 hours defrost, so I'm just going to use a piece of ice anyway. I got myself some uh, a mozzarella ball, I got some goat cheese, a little bit full of cheese this is, I got some meat and cheese selection, 179 from Aldi, and I got some salami and cheese selection. So, quite simple really. Um, I'm not going to put any sauces in because it's going to be loads of cheese and I've just got an egg wash. So it's quite simple. So, let's start. Well, we'll open the pizza base then. Let's get that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make two big ones. I mean, I don't know how big they're supposed to be anyway. We'll get it opened up. So there's the base. I'm going to use my pizza cutter and I'm going to cut it open, down the, cut it down the middle, roughly. Jobs are good one. I'm going to do one uh, salami and cheese selection. And then I'm going to do one meat and cheese. And I have got another one of them, because I bought two packs, so I'm not going to have to do two and do one mix and match. I'll see what happens as I go along. Well, salami and cheese selection, I say £1.79. Pence. Uh, I'll show you all that if you want to have a look. Do what you do, just pause in and do whatever. So we're going to start off with a bit of meat at the bottom. So I'm putting no sauces on the bottom of it or nothing. Um, I might double it up because you've got, you've got to fold it over, haven't we? You want to leave a gap and all. So I'm going to double it up like that. I'll put another bit of cheese in the middle. I want it quite gooey. And some more meat if I can get it. It's all breaking up. Let's get it on. Don't matter. It's all going to be it. Then we want uh, a bit of mozzarella. No, a bit of goat cheese first. A bit of goat cheese. It's quite expensive. I think this is about 160 or something like this. There it is there, the goat cheese. I'll get a spoon and get some of that out. We'll put a bit of that in the middle. I'll we'll put two lots in there actually. I want it gooey. Then we'll stick a bit of mozzarella on top. Like so. And then I want to fold it. Uh, this could be fun. Should have cut it the other way really, but we'll find out. I'll cut them, cut them ends off, can't I? Let's put that in there. Like that. I, cut, I wanted to leave a bit of a gap there as well. I ain't done that either. I'm just going to pinch it round anyway. I should have put some egg wash on it, shouldn't I? Do that on the other one, because this will probably come apart now. Basically a bit like Cornish pasta, isn't it? A bit of egg wash. I think that's going to come apart because I ain't thinking it, egg washed it. But hey, that's me for you. Meat and cheese selection this time. I'm a bit disappointed there because I've cut it all wrong and... Well, never mind. A couple of meats in. 
And I didn't egg wash it either. That's me for you. Some cheese slices on top. Just one. Some more meat. Now I've got the oven on. Uh, apparently they say put have the oven really hot, so the oven's really, really hot. So goat's cheese. Now I have seen uh, a few different ones of these online. Some of them really puff, puff up and some of them don't. So I don't know how they're supposed to be really. Let's look some mozzarella on as well. There we go, get all that gooiness. Now I'm going to egg wash this one because I forgot the other one. And just do the same again, just fold along. Now I'm going to egg wash it. I don't know if to use a fork and crimp it down a bit more, you know. Just to be on the safe side. I think I'll do that. Just crimp it down, just to be on the safe side. Oh, there they are. Not looking bad for first attempt, I think. But I'll get a tray out. And then we'll get them on a tray. There's my tray. I ain't got much stick left on that tray. Now, I was told... We'll put a bit of corn flour or something on the tray. They won't stick, but I ain't got corn flour. I've got maize, so I'm going to just the same thing. I'm going to stick a bit of that on. Let's see if I can get these on now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite solid. Right, in the oven for 15 minutes. That one's coming apart, look. That was one I didn't egg wash. No, I just want to egg wash. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Sorry. Do apologise. Some air holes. Let me know if you ever made a calzone. I've never made one in my life. I've never even had one. Usually just have normal pizza. Well, I'm going to stick them in the oven then. 15 minutes. Problems. It's all come apart. I'm panning them. So, good job I've got another one. Uh, they're still cooking the other one, so I'll show you when they're done. So, let's try again. Yeah, all completely fell apart inside, they just open like a bloody pizza. Things look so easy, don't they, online? When you're learning, bloody useless. Smell them with ones, I think they're burnt. Doesn't really matter anyway, they've opened up, so. Looks like I'll be having normal pizza by the looks of things. Really wanted to try something a bit different as well. But say, oh, never mind. Let's try and get it right crimped in. As I say, me and pastry, I know it's not pastry, but it's the same sort of principle, ain't it? Did I wash that? No, I never did, I. Let's get these ones out. Absolute bloody mess. Uh, there's them ones. All come apart. They do look nice, but they all come apart. Right, I've cleaned my tray up again. Uh, I'll show them with one properly in a minute. Let's just get these in. Some of this maize on. It just seemed to work. There's a little bit stuck, but not a lot. Right, here they are. Now, they do look quite nice. Um, it's got a nice crisp on it. Look. But they all come apart, look. Now, I don't know whether that's too much filling or whether it's the pizza dough. We'll find out with the next two anyway, because I've really gone at them a bit more. But we'll see anyway. We'll wait and see. If not, I'll have to try it again some other time. Because I'm getting hungry. No, nope, they've all come apart again. So the only thing I can think of is it's got a bit of dough in it. That's what I'm thinking, it's got a bit of dough. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to make my own dough next time and try it that way. I don't think I've seen anybody do it with a ready-made pastry, a uh, ready-made dough thing, so maybe that's what it's, it is. But anyway, they're cooking, they all come apart like these. We might as well just taste test these, mightn't we? Now they've cooled down a bit. Let's cut one open, let's cut, well, let's cut them both open because they're different ones, ain't they? Let me know anyway, if you've done these and what, what I've done wrong. They smell delicious. I 
I wanted them properly. I mean, they are properly. They just come apart. They smell absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. Well, let's taste test them then. So, I don't know. Let me know anyway in the comments where I've gone wrong. Um, is it too much filling? Well, there's only a bit of filling in there. Well, didn't I do them big enough? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's have a taste anyway. But they do smell gorgeous. Mmm. 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 Oh, wow. That really nice. Oh, what a shame. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, really, really nice. Um, that meat up. Let's try the next one. Oh, what a shame they've come out like that. They're gorgeous as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Both of them. I'm disappointed now. Oh wow, I'll definitely be making them again though. Um, I found the, the meat one better than the salami one. But they're both gorgeous, both of them. I'm just disappointed. Let me just set these other ones. Well, yeah, they'll come apart, man. Never mind, as I say, I've tried. Um, I'm going to do them again. I'll do my own dough. I say I'm the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time. Bye bye. Gorgeous, but what can you do? I'm honest. Bye bye.